Hey guys, I am gonna start part two. And um, the next important step after figuring out your path is learning to set really good goals, okay? And people kind of like eye roll whenever, you know, the whole cliche of just having these goal sessions. But I have found that practicing setting goals is extremely important. And actually my husband kind of taught me that. And so, you know, at New Year's people have resolutions and we don't do resolutions, but we always sit down at the table, get a cup of coffee, get our notebooks out. And we talk about like, what do we see happening for our businesses for this following year? And that's the first part of our goal setting is we set our big goals for the year, but it doesn't stop there. So, uh, you know, every morning we kind of like have, it's the tiniest thing, but we sit down and we, we don't sit down together, but we'll sit down at our desk and just say, okay, what is my goal for today? What are the things that really need to be done? And practicing that kind of helps you see a finish line every day. Like these are the big important things that have to be done in order for me to continue to grow. And we're gonna talk about that a little bit more in part three when we do, um, we talk more about planning and how to like properly plan and practice planning on a daily basis. That's where you're gonna see massive growth in your business as well. But right now, just knowing that the importance of setting those goals, like for instance, this YouTube channel, um, this was actually a goal that I had for last year. And I just kept, you know, thinking, oh my gosh, I can't do this. Uh, I tried to see myself on video and I absolutely hated it. And something that was really interesting that I had read was, um, don't change the goal, change the plan. If the, if the goal or if the plan isn't working, you don't change the goal, you change the plan. And so I got to the beginning of this year and I thought, oh, crap, you know, I talked about doing this YouTube channel and I haven't done it. Well, I'm really thankful because I have a, <laughs> like a brother who does videography. And I thought, you know what? If I am gonna make this work, I'm gonna have a professional come in and do it. So I changed my plan. I wasn't really learning to do it myself. I wasn't, but I brought a professional in to do it for me. I changed the plan. So every week, at the beginning of the week, I have goals for my week and I have goals for the, for the day because there's some big things that I wanna see change in my business. Do I have a successful business? I do, I really feel like I do. Um, and the reason that I, I have it is because I have continued to grow. It doesn't matter, my, my clientele is stuff full, that's fantastic, but you should never just say like, okay, I'm good, I'm good right here. You should constantly strive to make it bigger and better. And that's why the importance of goal setting has to happen, okay? Um, you, when, like a, another good example, I remember starting out in my business and going, okay, my goal for today is to at least make $200 a day net. I'm gonna net, that means that that's my profit, not including your overhead and everything, all your expenses. But I have to at least make $200 today to feel good about what I've done, okay? And then I start to notice that I was like, I better make at least 300. Well, I better make at least 400. And then it grew to where I was like, I better at least make 800 to a thousand dollars today, or I'm not feeling good about what I've done. And everybody goes like, well, that's really great, but then how do you get there? We'll talk about that when we talk about planning, but it's important that you start thinking about numbers. Like a lot of people are like, well, my goal is to have a mansion and have a boat and travel all I want. I'm not talking about that kind of goal. I'm talking about having a real number, saying something like, I just gotta at least make $200 today. You know, that's real, that's realistic, and it's very doable. And, you, and once you start tracking those numbers and you have that goal in mind, you'll start to see your business grow. Um, and maybe your goal is to have your own, your own business. Maybe your goal, you know, a lot of people are like, why don't you open up your own European Wax Center? 
And that's not really where my heart is. I mean, I think it's great. I know those people are making a lot of money, but uh, as an esthetician that's already started her own business, I look at those women and I, I say like, you could do so much more. You could make so much more. You're worth so much more. And even though I think those places are fantastic for you to start out with, I hope that you realize that you could do this, you know? So we, uh, my best friend and I, we opened this business and we rent out rooms to other ladies. And our goal is to see them have the same success we do. And that's where my heart is. That's one of my goals. And now my goal for having this YouTube channel is just to have some kind of awareness for, for women because something that, I mean, this is kind of funny, but the sole purpose that I started a lot of these, um, you know, bathtub chronicles or these silly videos that I'm doing is to, is for some of the women who feel very self-conscious about themselves and they don't feel beautiful. And there's, um, you know, it's a beautiful thing when you can have a, a friend that you can just talk about with any, anybody. And you talk about all sorts of like being naked or what, what looks normal and things like that. So I'm hoping my YouTube channel, we can talk about things so that we can be friends and you can hear it and hear some of the things that make you feel a lot more comfortable, a lot more normal, um, because it's just so vital and important now, you know, like I want that confidence just going out everywhere for everyone. So these were all my goals um, and they grew because I practiced setting them every day, every week. With the big ones at the beginning of the year, we would revisit them and we would see, you know, where are we at? What can we do different? How is that goal transformed? And am I seeing it through? And you need to know that only you are going to build your business. Okay. Nobody's going to do this for you. And I've had to learn the hard way. And I'm just hoping that some of these ideas or tips, or maybe just, you know, goals isn't really a, a tip but I hope it inspires you to kind of think about your business differently. Okay. I hope that you sit down and really think about yourself and hone in on those ideas. Um, but you are the only one who is responsible for your success. Okay. And growing your business. Um, so I hope that you take some time this weekend, sit down with a notebook. I love, I have a couple of notebooks. Okay. And just start writing some things out and see where that goes. Get some ideas, get some numbers in your mind and see that kind of come through and read it next year and just see what happened, see what changed and see how you grew. And I hope it's helpful and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching guys.